Exposed my brother with a fake Gucci belt he had. The accurate TL, it's like finding a hundred dollar bill in an old pair of jeans. If you're in the market for a car that won't break the bank, but still gives you that sweet taste of speed and luxury, look no further. First off, this beach packs a punch with that J series V6 engine pumping out up to 270 roaring horsepower. <laughs> The TL is no slouch. You're gonna feel like you've been transported into a high-end cocktail lounge, leather seats, dual zone climate control, and a premium sound system that'll make your Spotify playlist sound like a live concert. And all this for the price of a used MacBook Pro? <laughs> what the frick? Yes, please. And it's reliable because obviously tow trucks aren't fun. The TL's not just about looking and feeling good, all right? It's about staying on the road too. Honda's legendary reliability means fewer trips to the mechanic and more time enjoying the open road and remember nothing kills the thrill of driving faster than a call to AAA roadside assistance the tl's the perfect blend of sharp aggressive lines and subtle sophistication it's a hundred percent something james bond would drive if he knew about vtech classy enough to impress your date but sporty enough to let loose on the weekend and for all you aspiring car modders and mechanics out there the tl is a dream come true want to upgrade your exhaust for that extra growl easy thinking of slapping on some new wheels no problem this car's like a lego set for adults and the aftermarket support can and the aftermarket support is pretty okay it's a car that's fast fun and won't have you living off ramen noodles to afford it add on remember me and my brother was big fan the ep3 might look like a jelly bean on wheels but, but who the frick doesn't love jelly beans it's got a high mounted shifter and a spaceship like dashboard which sure of course it might be weird at a first glance but after a while you'll feel like you're piloting a tiny zippy spacecraft every time you get on the road under the hood you've got honda's two liter iv tech k20 a3 engine that produces a respectable 160 horsepower which once again isn't much in today's world of 700 horsepower supercars but trust me this little guy packs a punch once you get higher in the rpm range <laughs> P3's light, nimble, and it's gonna love to rev. It's perfect for carving up twisty back roads or just pretending you're a rally driver on your way to get some milk. The feedback through the steering wheel is, is gonna be that chef's kiss, making you feel a connection to the road in a way that modern cars with all their electronic doohickeys just, they just won't be able to replicate. Plus, the seats are gonna be comfy enough for those long road trips, and you're gonna have that lovely iconic red SI badging to remind you you're driving something special. And remember every time that VTEC kicks in you're not just driving all right you're living it's a trace song but we ain't gonna tell nobody the cl9 tsx another hidden gem in the car world if you want a first car that's more fun than watching a trampoline filled with puppies and cost less than your annual coffee budget this car might just be for you under the hood you got a 2.4 liter inline four 200 horsepower k24 engine that's so tough chuck norris looks like a wimp next to it so this thing rips pretty okay. zooming down the freeway feeling like you're in a budget version of the budget version of fast and furious minus the criminal activities of course the tsx it's built to last you could probably drive this thing to the moon and back and the only thing you need to do is change the oil body we ain't gonna tell nobody at all i remember my the eighth gen civic si the ultimate did i really just buy this for under 5k go first off the eighth gen si especially the coupe it looks like it was designed by someone who got tired of their car looking like a bar of and decided to make it look like a flip-flop instead. But the car's face, just, just look at it. It's got more attitude than a teenager that just got grounded. Look in that engine bay and you're gonna find a two liter K20 Z3 engine, which is Honda speak for I like to have fun. This VTEC beast cranks out a respectable 197 horsepower, which might not sound like much, but in a car that weighs about as much as your average American's Thanksgiving dinner, it translates to pure unadulterated fun. And when VTEC crosses over. <laughs> it's like going from a casual coffee date to chugging a lethal dose of Red Bull. The 
the six speed manual transmission is going to be about as smooth as hot butter on pancakes if you get you know if the if the synchros are intact and it's perfect for those who want to actually drive their car none of that automatic bull crap you'll be rowing through the gears with the precision of a fruit ninja samurai and the limited slip differential pretty much ensures you'll be sticking to corners like spider-man clings to walls inside it's got seats that'll hug you tighter than your grandma at christmas and a digital speedo that looks like it was ripped straight out of a sci-fi movie for under 5k this car is a steal it's like finding a gucci bag at a garage sale sure it might have a few miles on it or a scratch or two or five but, but it's still a honda these things are as hard to kill as cockroaches and with all that money you save you can trick it out with mods or you know buy some gas because you're gonna be driving it freaking everywhere he had to wear a pair of my drawers he didn't know i if you know anything about hondas you're probably aware of the awesomeness that ensues when you get your hands on an acura integra a car that's so cool it makes some sports cars look like soggy slices of bread born in the mid 90s and rolling strong into the early 2000s this little beast is the ultimate first car for under 5k why well let me drop some truth bombs first off this integra's packing the legendary b18 vtech engine it's like having a line under the hood it roars it purrs all while having you grinning like an idiot when you hit the gas <laughs> Integra's got those sleek but curvy lines that'll make it look like it just sliced through a wind tunnel. Cool headlight options? Check. Spoiler? Check. I, I mean, just look at this thing. It's so cool it might as well be wearing sunglasses and a leather jacket. Ready to rebel against those boring commutes and lame carpool lanes. Inside, it's all about that 90s nostalgia. It's simple. It's retro. And it's a whole vibe. Plus, if you manage to find one with the legendary Type R trim, congratulations. You've just unlocked the whole Holy grail of Integra's, but under 5K, you know, a Type R, it's 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 probably stone. This thing's built like a tank, but it handles like a ballerina. Parts are cheap and parts are plentiful, so your wallet won't cry every time you need to fix something. And because it's a Honda at heart, reliability is its middle name. If you want to mod it, go for it. Go nuts. Lower it. Turbo it. Freaking paint it neon green. The world is your oyster. It's like Lincoln Logs for car enthusiasts, and the possibilities are endless.